Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about the visual basic operators. These operators are very important when you are doing programming. Knowing about the operators is absolutely important. So let's see how all these operators are used and what are those operators in detail in this video. To start with, we will learn the arithmetic and bit shift operators. So there are around 10 operators you are going to learn in this video. After that, you need to learn the comparison operators. There are around nine different comparison operators. Then you have concatenation operators. Then you have logical operators. There are many things, but we'll focus one by one. And this is very important for you to know. So let's get started with the arithmetic and bit shift operators. The very first thing we will do, go to the toolbox and drag and drop a button. I'm going to slightly enlarge the button and go to the properties of the button and change the font to slightly bold. I'll make it to 28 points and I'm going to click on OK. All right, let's change the appearance, the text appearance by going to the text property and type show results. This is what I would like to type. Okay, let's slightly enlarge this. Done. After this, I'm going to double click on this button. Now, once I double click on the button, I need to write the code and understand all the arithmetic operations. The very first thing we will learn about the add. For this, what we will do, let's write the variables. To add, we will take two variables. I'll first declare the first variable as dim, first number as integer. And let's write, create the second variable. Next, we need to save the results. Let's create a result variable. Now, all the three variables are created. Now we have to learn the addition. I'm going to create a comment symbol and going to write add plus. And here let's see how the addition works. So it's pretty simple. You will create the write the result variable and then add the first number and second number. So here what we have done, the first number and second number are added by this operator plus. This is the operator and let's print the output. So this is how you'll be printing the output. So let's see how the addition works. One thing we forgot, we forgot to assign some values to both the numbers. Let's assign the values. Now I've got 10 and 5 assigned. So 10 plus 5, the expecting output is 15. Let's run this. And let me click on this button. And you can see the output 15 has appeared on my screen. Let me stop this. So the very first thing, the plus operator we have learned. Let's learn about the subtract operator. I'm going to change the comment here. And all you have to do instead of the plus sign, I'm going to use the minus operator. Very simple. And what we are expecting 10 minus 5 is the 5. If I'm going to click on this, you can see the output 5 has appeared. The next thing we have to learn about the negation. The subtract operator has a minus symbol. Even the negation has a minus symbol. So how this one works, let me show you. For example, you have already known when I use a plus sign, 10 plus 5, the output was 5. What if I put a negation symbol? Negation means it's a negative number like minus 10, minus 5, all negative number. All I will do, I'll use a minus symbol before the variable. So minus first number plus second number. So minus 10 plus 5. What is the expectation here? Output should be minus 5. So let me hit on run. 
click on show results and you can see the output has appeared as minus 5. The next thing in our row to learn is the multiplication. So multiply, let me copy this and change the comment to multiply. All you have to do, all you need to remember is the multiplication operator. That is the star symbol which is available in the number 8. This is the operator you have to use when you have to multiply. Let me remove the negation symbol. All good. So what we are expecting 10 into 5, I am expecting 50. Let me run this. Show results and you can see the output 50 has appeared. Let me close it. Now the next operator we have to learn is the divide symbol. If you see the divide symbol has got two different operators. This way the forward symbol and the backward symbol. So what is the difference between this two and what kind of a output we will get we are going to see. So let me copy the very first one divide and I'm going to keep it here as a comment. All I will do simply change the multiplication operator to the forward symbol or the divide operator. Now let's see what is the output that comes. So 10 divided by 5 I am expecting 2. That's okay. Let's stop this and go back and let me change the symbol to the quotient symbol. This is for the quotient. I am going to copy this. Put a comment. Now we are going to try the the alternate one. So I am going to use the backward slash. Okay, I am going to use the backward slash. Now what is the output? Will there be a difference in the output now? 10 divided by 5. Let me run it. Again, it is the same. So why we have two two operators? Let's see why we have that. Let me go back. And here, let me change the value here to 11, for example. 11 divided by 5. And here, instead of integer, the result as integer, what I am going to do, I am going to say double. Now, let's see what is the output. So, 11 divided by 5. So, first of all, let's try the divide one, the forward slash. So, what should be the output here? 11 divided by 5. Let me run it. Show results. So, you can see the output is coming in decimal numbers 2.2. .2. So, when you use a forward slash, it can give you an output in decimal numbers in digits 2.2. .2. 11 divided by 5 is 2.2. .2. Very good. Let me stop this. And this time, let me use the backward slash. Now, when you do this, even the result is a double, right, which is basically a decimal. Now, even though when you are using a backward slash, what would happen? The 2.2, .2, the exact thing will not be given. It will only give you the quotient value, which is 2, not the decimal value. So, generally, there is a difference in the output. So, when you run it, you can see the output has come as 2. That means that dot 2, the decimal value is rejected here. So, it only gives you the pure quotient. So, that's why when I go back to the notepad, this is for the quotient and this is for the divide. This divide symbol can give you decimal values. This only gives you integer value. That is the difference between these two. Let's learn about the next one which is reminder. Let me copy this. Okay, this is pretty simple. Now, if I all I have to do is simply say mod and let's see the output. So, the mod, the reminder is 1. When you divide 11 by 5, what is the reminder? Quotient is 2, reminder is 1. So, this is how you get the reminder by writing the operator mod. All you have to remember, mod symbol. Now, all this you have learned. What you have learned? Plus minus, negation, multiplication, division, quotient and mod. So, all this basic arithmetic functions you have learned. The next one I am going to teach you is the power. For example, 10 to the power 5 means what? 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. 10 multiply, you are multiplying 10 5 times. So, power. So, how to use 5? So, let's take a very pretty simple number so that it's easy to calculate. So, I am saying 2 and the second number is 3. So, or else let's alternate it. 3 
and 2. So 3 to the power of 2, that means 3 into 3, the output should be 9. So what is the next thing we are learning? We are learning power. Let's copy this and put it as a comment. Now all I have to do for the power symbol, you have to use, this is called the caret symbol. The caret symbol is available in the 6, number 6. Okay, so what is the output we are expecting? 3 into 3, 3 to the power of 2. That means I am expecting 9 here. Let me run it. Show results. You can see the output 9 has appeared on my screen. So now the next thing that we have to learn is the bit shift left. What is this bit shift left? And what is the bit shift right? We need to understand. Now for this, what we will do, we will delete uh, some of the previously created variables and I will change the name to first number, I will say my number as integer and then I have a result variable and instead of first number, I will say as my number e is equals to, let's say, give a number called 5, I am going to omit this values, okay. Now, Let's understand what is this first of all, okay? Let me delete everything. So what I have, I have a result variable. I have a mind number variable whose value is 5, okay? And result variable, I can keep it as integer. That's it. Now let's understand what is bit shift left, what is bit shift right? Before we understand, we need to know each number, each number is represented in a binary form, 0 and 1, right? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. You might have already learned about this. Now, what is this? Let's see. So, if, for example, if I write 5, what is the binary value of this I wanted to understand? So, what I will do, I'll use this, for example, the result variable equals to, I'll say convert to string. What I'm saying? Convert to string and inside this I am going to write okay there's a spelling mistake here and inside this let's write the number my number the variable which contains my number comma to convert it to binary format zeros and ones you have to write a code called two so what this will do when you write two the two represents zero and one in digital values 0 and 1 right these are the two digital values so when you write 2 the code understands this value the number 5 which is there in this variable i need to convert into a binary format this is how you write convert dot to string comma 2 now let's print this okay uh, i will say message box dot show and then write the result now if i'm going to run this what is the output I will get for 5? If I write 5, what is the output I am going to get? Let me run it. Show results. You can see the binary value of 5 which has come as 1, 0, 1. What has come? 1, 0, 1. Now, if I go to the notepad, look at it. The binary value for 0 is 1, 0, 1. When you do a shift left, when you do a shift left, what would happen? This bits, these are called bits, right? 1 is a bit, 0 is another bit, 1 is another bit. What this bit will do? This bit will move to the left. That means 1 will come here, 0 will come here, 1 will take this position. So it shifted 1, one time. So if I'm writing shifted 2 times, it will shift 2 times. That means it will come here. So how this works, let me show you. Okay, let's go back to the code. Now this much you have understood. Now converting just to show you that value, okay, to show you what happens. Now let's say what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this my number. So what I will say, my number is equals to my number, whatever the number is, okay. You do a shift left by one. What you are doing? You do a shift left by one. So the new my number will do a shift left. Now let's see what is the outcome. Last time we got 101, right? This time if I run it, 
show results see what happened the 101 last time it has moved to the left 1010 has come as a output let's do one thing so it is simply shifting the byte bits to the left side so for example i am saying shift it uh, five times what i'm saying shift it five times if i'm going to run this show results so what happened you can see 101 has come 1 2 3 4 5 zeros have come so it is shifting that byte towards left 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 right will do move it to the right 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 this is the difference now what is the exact difference what happens now when you change the bit value the actual integer value also will change so the 5 is represented as 101 but when you do a shift for example i'll do one shift okay so when you do one shift 1010 has come let me open the notepad so what happened when you did one shift this 101 has come so 1010 means the binary value is actually 2 after shift so the binary value becomes uh, i think it's it's for uh, 10 not 2 okay the binary value should be for 10 so 1010 means this is for 10 now let's see the output the actual output instead of converting i want to see the actual output so what i will do so i have converted it now i can simply print my number for example i removed everything instead of result I'll simply use my number. So after shifting this 5, doing one shift, so I don't need the result variable, let me delete it. What is the output that will come? Let me run it. Show results. So you can see the output has appeared as 10. What is the output? Because you did a shift left of the bits, what happened? The value has changed something like this. So this reprints 1010 reprints 10. Integer value is 10 for that. Okay. We'll just do the opposite of it. Okay. Shift right. We'll do the shift right. What happens? We will see. Now, instead of this, I'm going to shift it to the right. One value. So with this, if I'm going to run it, what is the value I'm getting? I'm getting 2. Just to show you in a notepad what 2 means. So binary value of 5 is 101. We already knew this. And after you do a shift right to 1, what happens? The 10, one this 1 gone, only thing left is 10. So 10 means, what is the binary 10 means? The binary for 2. That means it represents 2, integer 2. So the output has come as 2. Getting it? So this is actually, you may not be using it very often, but this is something good to learn, right? In uh, On a later stage when you are getting, uh, have to do a complicated mathematical calculations where you might need this bit shift left, bit shift right. But for the moment, you have understood what is it and how it works. That is the intention of the video. Now, next thing in the next video, we are going to learn about the comparison operators. So let's move on to next video and do comment in the comment section of the video that you have completed this video. Thank you.